So many people go and get business coaches and they do all these other things because they think that, oh, if I finally make the money, then I'll be good enough. If I finally get the house, then I'll be good enough. If I finally launch the program, then I'll be good enough. All of us have medicine on our heart that only we can give to the world. And so many people die with their dance, with their music still in them. And I don't want that to be you. I definitely don't want that to be me. Some of you, and I'm gonna get even realer right now, some of you are, um, as I like to say in bridge experience, in, in bridge, some of you are half cocked. You're like, if you were like a gun, you'd be like, Ch right? But the point, the, the place you wanna be in is, Ch like you want to be fully loaded. You want to be a weapon for God. You want to see the face of God everywhere you go. You want to be unleashed and in your power, turning your pain into power, your mess into your message, your fear into faith, and walking as the truth of who, who and what you are. That's possible in this lifetime. And I get it. You have bills and kids and all the other stuff you've made up as an excuse and reason why you can't. And I'm here to remind you that in every scenario, every circumstance, there is somebody winning, doing the same stuff you're doing. Success is sequential, not simultaneous. And yet it is simultaneous, if we're speaking from the quantum space, because the moment I realize that I am um, all that there ever was, when I realize that I am love, when I realize and recognize and embody that all needs are met in this now moment, that is success. However, success quote unquote, in the physical world is sequential. It is selective discipline. Some of you think you need to know how to do everything all at the same time and you have 12 million ideas and you want all the ideas, you want to put them there and do this and do that and do this. And it's not that those things have to die. They, you just sit them aside for a little bit and you do what, what's handwritten on your soul. Because as Zig Ziglar said and many other people, when you make room for your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. And that's a big thing. So many people go and get business coaches and they do all these other things because they think that, oh, if I finally make the money, then I'll be good enough. If I finally get the house, then I'll be good enough. If I finally launch the program, then I'll be good enough. That's what's happening underneath what they're saying. And so there's this constant seeking of outside in. My work, I'm a personal freedom coach. Everything I do is about power first, everything extra. Everything else is the cherry on top. You be the fucking damn cake and everything else is extra. But so many of us think that, that the extras and the peace and the, and the, 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 the frosting and the cherry and, and all the, the writing of the name on the cake, that's the thing. No, be the cake. <laughs> A lot of people do tactics and tricks and that's completely different than the embodiment work that I play with. Um, and here's the reminder, anything you do for six months, you're going to get really good at. So this is my invitation to each and every one of you, no matter where you are in your process, no matter how old or how young, this is my invitation to you, whether you know me or not, because that can get in the way too. I've had people say, oh, I don't want to work with Preston because, um, you know, then he won't see me as an equal. Like, what the fuck? And get over yourself. Coaches? I have three coaches right now. One, $90,000. Another, $16,000. Another, nine. I go where I need to go because I, I cannot ask other people to do what I haven't been willing to do myself. So that's the game I play all the time. And guess what? I level up each time, every single time. I had someone yesterday on a call who said something to the effect of like, I realized in my 46 years that it's time for me to get support. And you know, maybe, maybe I'm just silly and something, something, something. She made some like off the cuff comment. And I knew that this person um, does like outrigger canoeing and she is about to do this crazy race from LA to Catalina. And I said, well, talk to me. Do you think it's possible to get in shape by yourself enough to do a race from LA to Catalina Island? Or is the only reason you're able to do that because you have coaches and a team of people supporting you every single time you fall or fail or think you can't, that there's a crew of people there to say, I got you, get back up, you can do this. And of course, she's like, got it. Like, yes, everybody who's ever done anything extraordinary never, ever did it by themselves. 
We talk about people like Gandhi and Mother Teresa and Martin Luther King, and those people had a lot of people supporting them. A lot of people. Nobody does anything amazing by themselves. This is to those of you who are the rock of your family, or the person who thinks that they can wheel them their way into whatever success you, you have deemed by reading books and listening to podcasts. That's not enough. You need support. You need people there with you on the ground level. I have nothing but love for each and every one of you. I just had to get in here because this survival thing and this just getting by thing doesn't work anymore. All right, I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'll see you soon. White hair don't care. Let's get it. Unleashed. Unleashed. Beautiful. Love you all. Peace.